welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show has action out of the AL Central. It's the Crimson Tide and the Bulldogs. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Schaub. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport, Andrew Benintendi. Always exciting to see him in action, and it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boog, it, it's offensively at the play, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about ready to roll here. And today's starting pitcher, Don Sutton, singing he is one of the best to ever do it. Yeah, Boogie's got some of the best strikeout stuff in the history of the game. Over 4,000 career strikeouts. We'll see how many he's got today. So just about set. And Media now, at Alberto Mondesi. The shortstop, at Alberto Mondesi. The line to kick the pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Irvin makes the grab. One pitch and one out. That exactly. And let's take a look at the lineup. And a big part of it, a guy with a great track record, Nicky Lopez. Well, he managed to hit over 300 last season. And I know batting average isn't as valued as it used to be. It's all about on-base percentage or OPS, on-base and slugging. But 300's a big deal, man, especially with the nasty stuff that these guys have and the velocity they throw as well. And first offering is fouled off. Next pitch has popped up. Puts the squeeze on it. Two up, two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little Nikki bit and popped it up. Lopez. Now here is Nicky Lopez. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate but also in the field. Next pitch has popped up. Lewis drifts towards it. Brings it in for the third out. We head to the bottom of the first. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. No score after a half inning. Right now. We go to the bottom of the first. And on the hill, Babe Ruth. Comes into this start sporting a lifetime ERA just over three. He's been pretty great for most of his big league career. Can't wait to watch him in this one. Bottom of the first. Now it's the second baseman, Brian Roberts. Second baseman. Here comes a pitch. Rubber. That's in for a strike. On one. And the pitch. Fly ball down the line, Judge cutting across, and there's one down. That All right, let's take a look at the lineup. It features a great veteran presence, Jim Edmonds. Well, anytime you hit 40 home runs in a season, you're doing some major damage at the dish, and that was his total a year ago, and so now I'm sure he's got his sights set on 50. No matter where he ends up, this guy's a threat to go deep every single time he's up there. Monty Irvin takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Next oh, offering right. down low and in the dirt. Oh. 
And now the lefty. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And that one handled. Over to first. And the home first moving along quickly today. Two gone. That is good. The center field. Jim Edmonds. So digging in, Jim Edmonds. That one's in there, 0 1. Felt impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, and you can play around a little bit more as the bat expands. Andy 2 Foul ball there. Left hand batter waits. Stays alive. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Scoreless after one. Welcome back. And now here's the veteran DH, Ernie Banks. Leading off for Alabama. Now the right hander the ready to go. Together. Still no score. Ernie. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Fought off foul. And Ernie Banks, you've got a player who truly loves the game. Let's play two was his signature line, and he meant it. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Torrens down to first, gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. For this guy, it's truly a battle when he steps into the box. Only one thing on his mind, seeing that pitch out of the hand and hitting it hard somewhere. The 0-2. And he chases that one. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Cam Gallagher. The catcher, number 36. Cam. In the air, out towards right center. Edmonds giving chase. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that will end the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back at target field, leading off, Ryan Howard. New arm out of the bullpen, Brad Keller. And he'll feature a hard slider to work off his fastball. Power. Swings and misses. And, and that is strike one. Bounce to the right side. Steps on first for the out. Luis Torrens digs in now. Luis. To the right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Here's Josh Naylor. A hitter. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Next offering is foul back. That one pushed to the left and foul. Ground ball, Vlad Jr. And he picks it up in foul territory. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Willie Mays makes the play. And that is that. We'll move to the third with no score. set for the start of the inning. Now, Willie Mays. 
Leading off for the Crimson Tunnel. The center fielder. Sully back to work. Okay. Tosses to first. And one away in the top of the third. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Number 99. Aaron Judge. Hit hard, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Hammer, base hit. And it kicks off the base of the wall. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Back-to-back -back singles off the bat. That one the registered bat. at 105 the miles per ball. hour, man. Adelberto. That is smoking. And these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. The old one. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Larner settles underneath it. He hauls it in two away. Throw behind the runner, and they got him doubled off. We head down to half of inning number three. We're tied, nothing, nothing. And a pitch. The the Austin Martin one takes All one day. off the outside here. Right-handed reliever. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Swing and a miss. And yeah, a count, one and two. two. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. That one blasted deep to right. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. The good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not okay. getting over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Next offering is in for a strike. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Kicks and deals. And it's fouled away. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. Here's the 0-2. Stays alive. This one in the air center field. Nice grab on the run. And there's one down. Batting done. The white field. Here's Trevor Larnick. In there and it's own one. Foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. That's back there. And forget it. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, right. even if it's Number a pretty one. good sinker like that Second one. Base, nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Rubber. Randy Johnson gets the call from the pen. It's his job Randy. to keep his team in the game. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 oh, now. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Still only one out here in the inning. Swings and misses. That's the second out. Well, that's the effect of the splitter that you're looking for on the mound. Really nice pitch right there and had him out in front over the top. I'm sure the batter was thinking he was getting something else, perhaps a fastball with a little more straight and velo to it. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. And there's a fly ball deep right field. And that is a foul ball. Field 2. 
right side. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is the third out of the inning. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. There's Ben intending to start it off. The right hander back to work. Smash to the left side. Tosses to first, and a quick out number one. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. And that one fouled off. It looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is, and it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold off if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well, and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. That hits the dirt, and the count one and two. Boog, it looks like somebody missed the swing sign. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. Next offering is foul back. pitch stays alive the one two and a foul ball he stays alive that one ran inside almost got him we haven't seen a break in the weather, and the umpires might be forced to make a decision soon. Yeah, I think so, Boog. I mean, everyone looking at... Oh, now this is blasted! Way back there! On its way! Gone! His first homer of the year, and they cut into the deficit. It's 2-1. He kept swinging, and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts. Finally squared one up. He came out of his shoes on that one, but managed to keep his mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it, and it went a long way. And now here is Ernie Banks. Now that a designated hitter, Ernie Banks. Swings through that one, 0-1. Ernie's part of an exclusive club, one of just a handful of guys to win back-to-back -back MVP awards. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. The pitch. Stays alive. And he deals. Bounced up the middle. On to first. Now two away. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front. Rolled over on it. Now exactly what he was supposed to do. Two outs. Space is empty. Guerrero. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Good contact guy. Good defender. And fouled off. The wind of the pitch. This to third. Martin over to first in time. And Guerrero is set down. That's out number three, but not before they answer back with a solo home run. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. Ready to go, bottom four. Here's the center fielder, Jim Edmonds. For Mississippi. The center fielder. That catches the outside corner, Jim. and it's 0-1. And, and that one wrapped foul. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And a pitch. And down on strikes. One away. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside Number part of the plate. Could get around on it and catch it oh, out yeah. front. 
Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. Swing and a miss. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. Hard hit left side. Mondesi fires over to first. Already two gone here in the home four. Now batting catcher Louis. Luis Torrens will hit next. He's over one. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. And here it comes. Fouled off. He was late. And the pitch. The punch out there. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Back in Minnesota, ready now for the fifth inning, and stepping in is the speedy Cam Gallagher. And a foul ball. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Willie Mays, the next to hit. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. And a foul ball. And he'll one. That one down the line and foul ball. Righty delivers. And he hits a ground ball right side. Now he launches a throw over his head. Just looked like he pushed that throw. Not a long distance, so something definitely broke down mechanically. Sometimes the shorter throws can be harder to make. You don't see many high throws from second baseman over to first because they usually don't have to put much on it. Here is Aaron Judge. That one fouled off. Righty to the plate. Ground ball up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. Run comes in from second, it's 2-2. Two -two. Picks himself up an RBI, just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And here is Evan Longoria in the air right side. Larnick puts the squeeze on that one, and there are two down. Now batting. Adelberto Mondesi up to Adelberto the plate. Mondesi. There's a swing and a drive. And it hits the fence. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two out double, second and third now. Go ahead, now run batting. on base. Let ben Intendi to the plate. Yeah. Gotta be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Base hit. One run is in. Now two runs score, and they take a two-run lead. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. And now, Nicky Lopez. The 1 0. He swings and fouls one off. Here's a 1 1. And there's something you don't see very much 
in today's game the pitch out movement in the bullpen Blaine and low up and loosening in the pen Hall warming up as well next offering way off the plate Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first he's in a favorable hitters count well if nothing else I mean this is a great spot for a hitter to be in next offering is foul back three two two out runner on first a lot of movement in the infield hitters got to stay focused on the pitch fouled off again and it remains three and two Benintendi the runner at first with two gone no, Sutton keeping him close and a payoff pitch Swings and crushes one right field way back and gone. That one felt good. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they boost their lead. It's 6-2. Singy, that's his 299th career homer. Yep, closing in on a pretty big career milestone. 300 will be extremely special. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. It's singing. It tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on now the baseball. Designated and here is Ernie, Ernie Banks. Banks. Well struck right field. And it bangs off the top of the wall. Showed off some really nice oppo pop with that swing and just couldn't get it over the fence. But I absolutely love everything about that approach and the mechanics right there. Here comes a skipper out of the dugout and he's ready to make the move. Don Sutton departs, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Lane Enlow gets handed the rock out of the pen. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Now, here is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Whips it across, it. and Guerrero is set down. Third out, so five runs in the inning as they bat around. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Crimson Tide with the advantage on the scoreboard, 6-2. to two. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now the DH, Josh Naylor. And there's a rocket into the outfield. So a runner aboard to start the inning. So a man aboard. Down the third baseman, Austin Martin. Base stock center field. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. Here's Royce Lewis. Now that is. First offering and it just misses. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this. To second, there's one. And he'll be safe at first. And now the right fielder, Trevor Larnick. He's already homered in this game. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the grab. Runner tags from third. He's in on the sack fly. It's six to three. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner right third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. Roberts in the box again. Takes a strike. Lewis off of first with two away. Next pitch inside. And that's ball one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit two outs that's hard hit in the line and that chance handled by Willie Mays and that is that up a run on two hits no errors and a man left welcome back top six here's the speedy catcher Pam Gallagher 
He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Matt Hayes preparing to come on if needed. Torres, the right hander, loosening up as well. Whips it to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Here's a big power threat. Willie Mays. Rip to third. Sends it across to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. The right fielder, number 99. Aaron. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the right fielder, Aaron Judge. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Well, pretty clear to me, he's trying to go deep right there, but you've got to get a pitch that you can handle. And there's a foul ball. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. To the bottom of the sixth inning. The Crimson Tide with the lead in this one. Six to three. You forget what you're fighting for when you're Bottom of the six. Now at the plate, Monty Irvin. Leading off for Mississippi. First pitch doesn't no find the zone. One, no Monty. And now the Irvin. lefty. Good eye right there. And now two and one. And that's a strike. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Two two. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Hauls it in for the out. Now back. Digging in, Jim Edmonds. Jim Edmonds. First offering, misses the mark. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in no, to no. find a way to get on base. The 2-0 is in for a strike. The pitch. Good eye right there. Here comes a pitch. Swings through that. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Got the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. in the pitch swing and a miss struck him out and two away now been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate three strikeouts in the first game yesterday another one right there they clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now Terenz in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike the old one is outside and it's a ball and a strike to kick the pitch swings through that one it's a strikeout out number three but not before they're able to draw closer with this blast it's now a 6-4 ball game we go to the top of the seventh here's the third baseman Evan Longoria the pitch the third baseman Swing and a miss. That's strike one. That's one of those swing now before the pitchers even let go of the baseball. Tap softly third base side. A swinging bunt. Tosses across oh. to first. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Deceptive slider now, right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. Mondesi. The batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. And the right-hander deals. 
That one to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Now it's now Andrew Benintendi to hit. Andrew Benintendi. Now this is in the air down the line. Can't get there. Base hit. And that's going to get into the corner. And he's in at second with a two-out double. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. You don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs. But sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Man on second, two down. And he dodges that fastball. Man at second. Stays alive. The one two. Slow roll into first. Howard picks it up, takes it himself. That ends the frame. Seventh inning stretch time. The Crimson Tide out front, six to four. Back at target field. Now it's going to be Josh Naylor. That's in there. Strike one. Josh Naylor. And a foul ball. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Denelson Lamette, trying to protect this lead. That one pulled foul. And he'll two. That's out to center field. Willie Mays makes the play. And now, Austin Martin. He's already homered here in this one. Swings through that one. 0 oh 1. Out into left center for a line drive base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. And it gets by him. Around second now, going for three. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Oh, he can't bring it in. Play at the plate, safe, and it's a one-run ball game. One down. Next to hit, Trevor Larnett. Runner on the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Well, it seems like 90 feet is such a big deal in a tight one-run game like this one. Maybe it's a little bit risky, but they felt good about it, and it paid off. Let's see if they can turn this into a big run. Brady Singer into the game. Uh, this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. Out number two. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's tightened up a bit at 6-5 now. Back here at the ballpark, now it's the DH, Ernie Banks. Leading off for and low, back to work. Foul ball there. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one fouled off. 0-2 oh now. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And it is gone! His first homer of the year, and they add on. It's 7-5. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot.
for a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. And a pinch. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Fires over to first. First out in the top of the eighth. The catcher. And here's the catcher, Cam Gallagher. Cam Gallagher. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. In the air, foul off first. Howard brings it in, two down. The two outs, base is empty. Now it's the power Willie. speed combo. Willie Mays. And what a two-way player, not just offensively, but as good a defensive outfielder as there is in the game. Well, baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. Kicks and fires. Hard hit, left field, base hit. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. On the ground to the left. Sneaks through, base hit. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. All over that one right there. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Longoria, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. And that one in the air center field. Edmonds makes the catch, and that'll do it. One scores in the inning, coming on this solo home run. It's now 7-5. in Minnesota bottom of the eighth now the left fielder Monty Irvin fastball in for a strike and that strike one swings through that one now a screamer into the outfield Judge puts it away, and there's one down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all okay. over it, but sometimes well, you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Edmonds in the box now. No balls and a strike. And it's fouled away. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down. Really tight bite on that slider and just couldn't get the barrel to it out front. You've got to try to pull the those hands tight to the six. body to get it through. And I'm thinking he probably wanted that pitch to end up even more inside to keep it out of the danger zone. But it had enough late break and deception to get the job done. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out. They'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. Got him. That's his second strikeout. We go to the ninth, stepping in at Alberto Mondesi. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Action in the pen down there. Yoelvin Silven is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. 
Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. To first, and they get the leadoff man of the ninth. Out there to center. And that should be extra bases. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. A one down. This one in the dirt. And the runner stays where he is. Benintendi, the base runner at first with one out. Oh, right to the backstop. And the pitch. And that one gets past the catcher. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. He's got it. That's out number two. Now batting, designated hitter. Man at first, and yeah, the batter now, Ernie Banks. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. First, back in their standing. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Welcome back. And now, Luis Torrens. Singer, back to work. Louis. Can't Go field it cleanly, man. but the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first down. And next now is the designated the hitter, hitter, Josh Naylor, one for three. And that one lifted in the air center field. Mays has a beat on it, hauls it in, and there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Next to hit, Austin Martin. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. Oh, and two now. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. A 7-5 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Ooh. All right, my flow sinister. This ain't rap music, this straight literature. Small minded, all your ideas miniature. They tend to hate on you when they can't get rid of you. A wise man told me that silence never betrayed him. Keep your mouth shut, cause it's got ultimatum. Yeah. Stupid situations, the tongue often creates them. Yeah. The motor mouth is usually causing mayhem. Let's reflect times, I try to collect minds from complex rhymes. And by the way, shut out Tech Nine. Uh, go and shut the shut up, just let me talk. I'm a time bomb that's waiting to go off. 
quite nuclear. Amazing what fame could do to you. Too peculiar, although I'm truly a renaissance starter. My mind divine, it take me a lot farther. Growing up, I really had beef with my father. But why bother explaining my feelings? Try harder, but either way.